What's up, Yans? It's Amanda, and welcome back to Beauty in Recovery. In today's video, we are gonna go over, I think, like my top 15 bronzers. So, in the last video I did in this series, we did blush, and now we're gonna do bronzer and then highlight, and we'll see where we go from there. So, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, comment down below, maybe what's your favorite bronzer or bronzers. Like this video. So we are gonna get into my top 15 bronzers. Okay, so I'm going to start at 15 and I'm gonna live swatch them and then I will put in a picture of all of them swatched together at the end of this segment. Okay, so the first one is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is in the shade Light Medium and it looks like this. Okay. And I feel like this bronzer has been out for a while. It's pretty hard to see, but there we go. I really do like it. I think it's a, it's a matte bronzer, but has like a slight sheen to it, but it, it's very, very neutral, especially on my skin tone. So it's why I like this one. I just have a smaller one right now. I did go through a big one earlier, but it, I just opened up a small one for the video. Okay, at number 14, we have the <laughs> we have the Anho Cosmetics, and this is the Camo Contour Powder in Cool Fair. So let me swatch this. And this is a, one of the indie brands that I really, really enjoy. And I know loose contour powders aren't everybody's favorite thing, but Sorry, I think this one works really, really well. It's definitely a lot cooler than this one, but to really sculpt, this powder works very, very well. And it's actually very, very easy to use. Okay, oh yeah, and just to put in that, like, I really enjoy all of these bronzers and contour powders. Like, this is, like, my top 15. Like, I just had to, like, rank them somewhere, you know? So... It's not that I dislike any of these. I love all of these. That's why they're in this list. But next is 13. Yeah. And this is the Balm Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer. And this is in the shade Thomas. So I had one in the shade Oliver. And I feel like I slightly like that one a little bit better. But I don't have it anymore. But this one is, has a slightly bit more of a red undertone than... I normally go for so that is that you can tell it is a lot more of like a ruddy orange bronzer on my skin tone but it is again a matte bronzer I like matte bronzers more than some like sheen is all right but not so much like shimmer I do have one shimmery bronzer in here but that's not really my go-to actually it's next so we'll go there Next, at number 12, is the Revlon Skin Lights Sunlit Glow Bronzer in the shade 110. And this isn't really even a glittery bronzer. This is more of just a sheen. And that's that one. I think for like light skin tone, fair light, maybe even a little bit into the medium. This, there's like two shades to this. There's 110, like I said, which is this one. And I think 115 is a little bit deeper, but I think this is really great and it's at the drugstore. Next we have at number 12, and this is the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Bronzing Powder. Looks like this, and this is in the shade Khaki, and this one is sometimes, I like this more in the winter. It's a little bit more neutral and a lot more fair, so when I have a really deep tan, it's really hard for me to use it, so I like this formula. I mean, I don't mind Kylie Cosmetics for some things, but a lot of people say that this formula is actually pretty similar to the ColourPop formula. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say that they're wrong. I think both are great formulas. And that again is a matte bronzer. And then we have at number 10. Yeah, and this is the e.l.f. 
primer infused bronzer and this is in the shade forever sun kissed and this is just a very nice and smooth bronzer that again i think this is like six dollars at the drugstore and it just has such a nice neutrally color again a little bit warm leaning on me but i think it's a very very nice color i think like i said for six dollars i think that's really really great okay at number nine i'm sure everybody has heard of this bronzer or has used it and this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Sun Kissed Bronzer. And this one actually, I would think, has a actually a bit more of a sheen than the... Now, I'd say the Revlon and this one have about the same amount of sheen. It is just so pretty. Just a, a slight warmth bronzer. And of course, that, like, coconut smell, that... Oh, it's just... I don't know, like I feel like I've had that bronzer for like so, so long. It's not even funny. And then next, and this is, I believe, from the Going Coconuts collection from ColourPop. And this is in the shade Coconut Beach. And it looks like this. And this is slightly more cool toned, neutrally cool toned than the bronzers that I normally have so I can use this to contour depending on the time of year I guess that it is in so again this is another bronzer that has a little teensy tiny bit of a sheen but I think it is such a good bronzer and Colourpop has really good bronzer formulas they also Soul Body I think has come out with a cream face and body bronzer that I'm kind of intrigued in we'll see and then we have this is number seven and this is gonna blind you but this is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Shady Biz Br bronzer in the shade shady biz and this is a nice warmth bronzer for me i get a lot of warmth from this one and i love the formula of fenty's bronzers i am curious to try out their korean products there are no korean products in this because a lot of people don't like to go into korean bronzers so i just decided to keep it just as powders and i don't really have enough cream products to do separate like cream highlight blusher bronzer videos anyways moving on we have number six and this is the morphe glam bronze and this is in the shade mastermind and this is like such a good like deal i think this is like nine dollars maybe i i think i can put that on the screen if i'm incorrect and that is what it looks like and this is another bronzer a little bit lighter but it gives a nice warmth to the face and i really do enjoy using that one it's, it's sort of it's relatively new i believe or they may have just done a shade extension at morphe i'm not really sure i don't love morphe products but that bronzer is actually really really good so next in the five spot yeah this is the scott barnes sculpting and contour number one palette and yes it's a palette yes i'm cheating and i'm gonna pick one shade to swatch and i'll probably insert swatches of the whole palette but i like this formula it's very very easy to blend out and it's like just so nice but this is the shade carve and this is more of a contour shade so you're gonna see it pull a lot lot cooler than these other shades on my arm but i think for contour that palette is just so 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 great and it can run a little bit deep and if you go you kind of need to use like a fluffier less dense brush and blend the product in because it can get pretty intense pretty quickly so like i said you know it's just more or less there being a little bit of a learning curve with that product but i think it's totally totally worth it especially if you work on clients so I definitely do recommend that one. Okay, so now we are going into the top four. And in the number four spot is the Koki Matte Powder Bronzer. And I'm so glad I found out about this. This is a very warm bronzer, but it is such a good formula. Like, 
and they have a lot of other deeper and I believe they also have a shimmery bronzer too and this was like seven dollars and this has 17 grams of product in it. It is just, I'm so glad they put these out. These are available at some Rite Aids. I know obviously you can get it at Koki. They're online store, but I have seen it at Rite Aid, especially at my local Rite Aids. And they have put these ones back in stock. And I know the shades, this isn't, I'm sorry, this isn't the shade Stay Golden. I know this one was out of stock for a while, but it is back in stock at least where I live. So I know that's like really not a good comparison, but if you look you should be able to find it all right in the number three spot we have the alamar cosmetics brighton and bronze trio so this comes with a brightening powder a bronzer and a deepener and i really enjoy i'm gonna just swatch again i'll insert swatches of the whole palette but right now for my top 15 i'm gonna swatch this deepener and it is such a pretty color. I don't think it's going to pick up the sheen on camera. But it just has such a pretty sheen to it. And it sits on the skin so nicely. I guess it says infused with hyaluronic acid. But regardless, I think it's a great product. I love their blushes. Their blushes made it into my top 15 in that video. So I think they're great for the price. And even the brightening powder for my skin tone, it does brighten. Oh, and they have this in, this is in fair light. They also have deeper shade ranges in this one as well. Okay, and the number two spot, this is the Milani Sun Kiss Silky Matte Bronzer. And this is in the shade 02. So this one's a bit cooler and more, it, it leans more neutral than cool on me. It's pretty cool, but this is such a beautiful formula. Obviously, it's at the number two spot for a reason. It just blends into your skin seamlessly. I know, I don't know how many shades they have in this like, because they're always like messed up in my local Walmart, but for the price, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it at the drugstore, Walmart, Target, Ulta. This is probably one of the best drugstore bronzers. I mean, it, in my count, it is the best drugstore bronzer that I've ever probably used. It is matte though, it is fully matte, so if you don't like a fully matte bronzer, you might not like it, but try putting it like underneath a glowier bronzer. It just blends into the skin seamlessly. And then in the number one spot, I had to go with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Bronzer. And this is in the shade 106 Tantastic. And I have gone through one of these fully before. So this is now my second one of this. And this has a lot of product. It is 25 grams of product in it. Is it pricey? Yes, absolutely. And this is a more neutrally warm bronzer on me, but that formula is, is stunning. It just blends so seamlessly into the skin and it has such a, such a nice smell to it too. The amount of product that you get and how long this lasts, it's just, it's truly truly worth it in my opinion. It retails for $49. I'll put it on the screen again if I'm wrong, but I really do enjoy using this bronzer. Again, that's why it is my number one. But anyways, that is all for the video today. Those are my top 15 bronzers. Let me know down in the comments if you like or you dislike any of the bronzers that I picked. This, these are all personal opinions. Nobody's gonna get butt hurt over here. Trust me. If there's a bronzer that you think is better, let me know so I can look into it. But I hope you all have a really great day and make sure you subscribe to my channel and also my Instagram, which I will link right here. And that's all I have. I hope you all have a really great day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.